When we understand muscles, there are two types of muscles agonist muscles and antagonistic muscles. Let's understand the difference between the two. Agonist muscle is the doer muscle that does the action. However, antagonistic muscle is a muscle that does opposite action. Usually muscles behave in pair. So if there is a doer muscle, there is a muscle that would have a opposite or a complementary action. Now, this muscle which is the agonist muscle or the doer muscle brings in the movement. However, the antagonistic muscle is a muscle that brings it back or returns it to original position. What would be a good example? A good example would be biceps versus triceps. So bicep is the flexor muscle and tricep is the extensor muscle. Let's understand this. So I take the hand and I flex it. Now when I am flexing what would happen? The bicep which is on the upper side gets contracted. So this bicep muscle would contract. It is the doer muscle which is doing the action and at the same time the lower muscle which is the tricep muscle would relax. So there is contraction of biceps and it is known as the flexor muscle. Tricep which is the extensor muscle would relax at the same time. I have another good example. Let's say you are running. So when you are running this is the way your leg would bend and the two muscles in the thigh which is the lower muscle which is the hamstring muscle and the upper muscle which is the quadricep. So quadriceps muscles and the hamstring muscle. Now hamstring is which muscle? It is on the lower side so we can say it is the posterior muscle. However quadricep is the anterior muscle. Now when you are running what would happen? The anterior muscle would actually relax and there would be contraction on the lower muscle. So this hamstring would contract and once this contracts what would happen? The quadricep would relax and this would happen when when there is a hip flexion. So when there is a hip flexion, quadricep would relax, but hamstrings would contract similar to the biceps and the triceps. So biceps, triceps, hamstring, quadriceps are common examples of agonist and antagonistic muscles. Antagonistic muscles usually work opposite. So they help in the movement uh, and they work in pair. So they usually do what is opposite to what is done by the agonist muscle and helps to return to the original position. However, agonist is the doer muscle which does the movement. So here biceps does the movement, here hamstring does the movement and the relaxer muscle brings it back to the original position. So a very important difference between what is antagonistic muscles and agonistic muscles and the examples for the same.